What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about 13 of the highest paid jobs in IT for the year 2020 and moving forward into the future. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. This list is coming to you from a website called Robert Half. Robert Half is an IT recruiting website that can help get you a job in IT, regardless of what level in IT you are working in. All right. So 13 of the highest paid jobs in IT. So number one, you have a big data engineer. And basically what a big data engineer is, basically businesses need individuals who can transform large amounts of raw data into actionable information for strategy setting, decision making and innovation. And they pay well for people who can do these skills. So the salary midpoint or the median national salary for big data engineers is around one hundred and sixty three thousand dollars. These professionals typically create a company's software and hardware architecture, along with the systems people need to work with the big data. Big data engineers usually have a degree in computer science and expertise in mathematics and databases. Number two, we have mobile applications developers. So, just look at your phone or your tablet applications, and it's pretty easy to figure out why mobile application developers are in demand. These IT pros need expertise in developing applications for popular platforms such as iOS and Android. They also must have expertise in coding and mobile frameworks in addition to mobile development languages as well as knowledge of web development languages. The salary midpoint for mobile application developers is around $146,000. Coming in at number three, we have Information Systems Security Manager. Successful candidates for this hot job possess a technical background in systems and network security, but also have great interpersonal and leadership abilities. Analytical and problem solving skills are key, as are excellent communication abilities. Information security managers also need to keep up with security trends and government regulations. Certifications such as the Certified Information Systems Security Professional or the CISSP or the CompTIA Security Plus are often requested by employers. These IT pros earn a midpoint salary of around $143,000. Coming in at number four, we have Applications Architects. So these tech pros, they have a mean salary of around $141,000. They design the main parts of applications, including the user interface, middleware, and infrastructure. In addition to strong technical abilities, they need to be able to work well on teams and sometimes manage them. Excellent communication and planning skills are required for this job. It's one of the highest paying IT jobs because just about every company wants to improve existing applications or create new ones. Coming in at number five, we have a data architect. These tech professionals are responsible for the complicated processes essential to making strategic business decisions. They translate business requirements into database solutions and oversee data storage or data centers and how the data is organized. Ensuring security of those databases is part of the job as well. The mean salary for data architect is around $141,000. Coming in at number six, you have a database manager. Just about every business has some sort of database and these tech pros maintain and support a firm's database environment, helping companies use data more strategically to meet their goals. And they get a midpoint salary of around $133,000 to do it. Database managers are especially needed in large organizations with lots of uh, tons and tons of data that they have to manage, and they must possess strong leadership and strategic planning skills. Coming in at number seven, we have data security analysts. So data security analysts must thoroughly understand computer and network security, including firewall administration, encryption technologies, and network protocols. 
The job also requires excellent communication and problem solving skills and a knowledge of trends in security and government regulations. A professional certification such as the CISSP is beneficial. The salary midpoint for data security analysts is around one hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars. Coming in at number eight, you have a software engineer. The national mean salary for software engineers is around one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. They design and create engineering specs for both applications and software, which means they're almost always in demand. Software engineers must have information systems knowledge and typically a bachelor's degree in computer science or a related area. Specific programming language knowledge is required as well as strong communication skills. Coming in at number nine, we have a wireless network cloud engineer. Wireless offices and mobile app development are just a few of the reasons these pros are in demand. Wireless network cloud engineers need to be experts in every aspect of network technology and have a background in wireless equipment and standards. Analytical and problem solving skills are necessary for the job, as well as certifications like the Certified Wireless Network Professional or the CWNP, which can be extremely valuable. The salary midpoint for these uh, professionals is $123,000. Coming in at number 10, we have what is called a data scientist. These IT professionals use their knowledge of statistics and modeling to make sense of complicated data from a variety of sources. To earn a midpoint salary of about $125,000, data scientists need business savvy and communication skills in addition to statistics, mathematics, and computer science expertise. Knowledge of programming languages such as Python and Java is often necessary to successfully do this job. Number 11, we have senior web developer. What they do, they gather business requirements and develop specifications for web-based applications making web properties look consistent and attractive. They also provide technical assistance to web admins and integrate front and back end systems. Senior web developers typically require experience developing on PHP and Ruby on Rails sites and working with a variety of content management systems as well as front end development experience. Senior web developers also need several years of experience managing web properties, the salary midpoint for senior web developers is around $123,000. Coming in at number 12, you have what is called a site reliability engineer. Site reliability engineers monitor application performance and must possess a thorough understanding of the application and the code. They can also write code like any other software developer, essentially bridging the gap between development and operations and applications production, which is why th this role is one of the highest paying IT jobs with a national salary of around one hundred and twenty two thousand dollars. They often work with technical support teams and help with support tickets or defects as well as emergency support. And finally, number 13, you have what is called a systems engineer. System engineers maintain and support the technical infrastructure at a company, including system hardware and software. When a system fails, they'll debug and reconfigure that system if necessary, making knowledge of the development process important to the job as well. System engineers must possess strong communication skills to translate technical information to non-technical users. The salary midpoint for system engineers is around $106,000. All right, so there we have it, folks. We just got finished going through a list of 13 of the highest paying jobs in IT for the year 2020 and beyond. And for a lot of you out there who may be brand new to IT, and you're getting excited by these numbers, guess what? You should be getting excited because one day, as soon as you get your certifications, your education, or your experience up, or a combination of all three, well, guess what? You too will be making that money. But until then, if you're just getting started, just go ahead on over to my website, technologyg.com, so that you can learn the 
entry level certifications that can get you on a path to being a six figure earner in IT so you can go out there and live your best life. So visit technologyg.com to get started where you can learn about IT fundamentals and start working your way up to becoming the man or the woman out in these streets. All right. So until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.